Hello guys and welcome to another Body Stenics tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to start off by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so that way you don't miss any future videos just like this one. Advanced Tuck Planche. The Advanced Tuck Planche is potentially the most important progression in your planche journey. It teaches you to withstand the force of your torso and challenges your ability to maintain a locked scapula as well as a round back. The one key difference between the tuck planche and the advanced tuck planche is the position of the knees. In the tuck planche, the knees are positioned in towards the chest, whereas in the advanced tuck planche, the knees are now positioned down and behind your wrists. This means that your hips are more extended than what they are in a tuck planche, making it much more challenging to engage the core and the glutes. The key focus with the advanced tuck planche is that you must not allow your hips to drop below the horizontal line of your shoulders. A golden tip is to focus on really engaging the outer glute region so that your torso and hips remain compact as one unit. There are two key ways in entering advanced tuck planche. The first, which is the least challenging, is to begin in tuck planche and slowly bring the knees down towards your wrists and hold at the bottom. Firstly, you must maintain a strong tuck position with your shoulders in line with your hips. Prepare to bring your knees down towards your wrists by placing them behind your hands to enter the advanced tuck position. You must do this without losing the hollow body engagement or the scapular engagement. You can also practice this exercise for reps by going from tuck to advanced tuck with the aim of not allowing your hips to drop below the level of your shoulders but constantly maintaining the horizontal line. It's key that you're consciously thinking of keeping your hips down whilst doing this. The goal is not to allow your hips to alter position at any time. A common mistake most athletes make is that they lift their hips too high. This is caused by thinking of the movement incorrectly when executing. Don't think of hips up. Instead, think of bringing your knees down and hips back. You can do this through body center. Aim towards holding times of six to eight seconds, which is a great achievement for the advanced tuck planche. Body Senex. Thanks for watching today's tutorial guys. If you guys found value then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. European Easter Summertime. For those athletes who want a more in-depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenics Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course. And for those athletes who want to join the Body Stenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Body Stenics coach. See you guys in the next video.